Hello there and welcome to the first Kodu tutorial. Uh, just so you have an understanding what we're trying to do here, basically um, we're going to create a world with some red apples and then there'll be two Kodus. One you'll control and one will be controlled by the uh, the game mechanic within the Kodu application. And each of the Kodus will be trying to eat the red apples to win a game. So, with that said, um, this is like any other, when you first uh, load a world, you're given the uh, given the basic layout. Uh, first thing I'll do is um, I'll move through and I'll make up some terrain. So I'm going to start with um, uh, square is good. If you, um, if you hit the X button, you don't have to choose a square. You can... Uh, you can choose a circle. This is kind of a neat little tool I like to use here. So if I pick it using A, what I can do I'll give you a little, is that I can sort of make a larger swath of land with one stripe. So I kind of made a bit of like a like a baseball diamond you can see there, and uh, and that's fine. It it doesn't have to be anything particularly special with this one. Um, but let's say I uh, wanted to maybe change colors. So I did that real quick. Um, if I want to change the color of the land, when I'm in this menu here, I can just hit Y, which is the yellow button at the top. And then you see I can scroll through all sorts of different colors. So let's just say I like this one. I'll choose it with A. And then to actually color the land, I will also just hit A and as I go along I hit A and it changes the color of the land okay so once you're kinda happy with whatever color you're using you can do kinda unique features like adding hills no I just went it says up down create hills or valleys and I'm just gonna do that so I don't have to use I can by hitting the d-pad left and right I can I can make little hills. Now, these would be very difficult for Kodu to navigate, so what I might do is I might use this application, which is make uh, the ground smooth or level, and in doing so, I would use my D-pad. I'd make an area just larger than what I elevated, and I'll smooth it out using my left trigger. If I wanted to level it, I could use my right trigger like that. But I want it nice and smooth. So, I'll trigger. That's kind of cool. Just adds a different feature. And the longer you hold it, the smoother it gets. So, hopefully, that gives you kind of a different perspective. And if I want to do the whole thing, I could. You know, just. Just kind of gives a little character to your land. There's also this tool if you wanted to make it spiky, you could use that as well. Um, but we'll get into that into later tutorials. Um, okay, so now it's time to actually put the Kodu in place. So I have my land feature, and I want to have a Kodu. Okay. So using A, select my Kodu, and um. In this set, in this screen right here, if you use your D-pad left and right, you can actually change its color. Um, I like the color blue. I'm gonna make my Kodu blue. I well, I made it purple. Let's go blue. Um, so he's highlighted blue right now. If I press up and down on the D-pad, it'll actually make him larger or smaller. But if I hit my A button and see how he's red, I can actually move him um, higher and lower, closer to the ground and whatnot. Okay, so that, that looks good for me right now. Now I need to actually code him. I need to control my Kodu. So on my first page here, basically when, gamepad, L stick, move. And that'll, and that'll allow my Kodu to move. And so, well, what we're doing is our whole, our whole purpose of this game is to 
allow Kodu to eat some apples and collect the score. So he needs to bump into these apples. So when he does, bump, and apples in is an object, it's right there. When he bumps into that apple, I want him to eat the apple. So now the apple is eaten, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to indent the next score. Because what happens is that basically from 1 and 2 will be conditions which will be simultaneously be recorded throughout the game. 3 only occurs if 2 occurs, and that's what that indent does. If you want it to be running simultaneously, then you have it running adjacent or parallel to 1, 2, and 3. If you want it as a condition only when condition 2 is met, as in when Kodu bumps into the apple, then what's going to happen is a, we want a score to be created. So the when command is already satisfied with the bumping into the apple. As we're indenting, we're saying we want Kodu or the game itself to initiate a secondary command which only happens when the apple is bumped so the do in fact is a score so you want the game to add one point and then I have to assign a color so my code is blue so I'm gonna assign the color blue okay so the score one blue point but I only want it to do it once because otherwise it might score 5, 10, 15, whatever, it doesn't matter. Basically it's calculated on how long you're touching the apple for before it disappears. So I want one point blue to score every time an apple is eaten. But Kodu essentially needs, um, needs an adversary, he needs a heal. So I will make another Kodu here. And this Kodu, why don't we make him uh, green. Green's a great color, sure. So this is the artificial intelligence, so there's no gamepad. In fact, he's just going to look. So when he sees, he's going to be looking for an apple. And we can put a condition, and I'll call this condition close by. And we can get more into these as the tutorials go on. So when that condition he sees an apple close by, which you want him to do is move toward it. And you can say quickly, slowly, it doesn't matter. So he's moving towards the apple. Okay. We also have to make a condition as when he doesn't see the apple. So when you see apple close by, not. And I use close by in each um, because they have to match in order for uh, the condition to be satisfied so he either sees an apple close by or he or he doesn't it's um, in the computer programming world it's like a, a when if not command is what they call it but um, I won't bother you by explaining that so he's got this so when he doesn't see the apple what you want him to do is you want him to basically wander around until he does see it and then the same thing with my Kodu is that when he actually bumps into the apple, he is going to eat it. And then we are going to indent this one and allow a score to be recorded as well. So same thing as last time, he's going to score one point and we made this Kodu green. When you score, he's going to score one point, and then he's only going to do it once, okay? So hopefully these Kodus are going to go rolling around, and they're going to be collecting a score. Let's just put a couple apples out there, and, I mean, you can make them nice and big if you want. If not, it doesn't matter, but sure, why not? It looks fun. Um, if I hover over this and I push the right trigger, I'll actually be able to double it. If I press A and lift it up, and push our and push the right trigger I can actually move it around as I do that so I placed a few apples around here okay and I'm just gonna play the game and see if the score actually records oh, one of my apples fell off these apples are rolling around probably because of the hills okay this is great my other code is moving as you can see He's going to try and get an apple. 
I'm gonna steal these two though. Gonna steer him towards that apple. Yeah, so his score account works as well. Um, okay, so I had a lot of apples roll off my world there. Maybe I need to make a bigger one. <laughs> oh, maybe not that big. Okay, okay. Oh, and if you want to, um, like, delete sections, instead of using um, the right trigger, you t use the uh, the L trigger. So I'll just kind of demonstrate that real quick. Okay, now I basically need to, to set it up so that um, someone can win the game. So basically I'll make it a race to five. And I can do this programming in this Kodu here, I can do it in an apple. I'm just gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a rock out here. Doesn't matter what kind, it really doesn't, doesn't make a difference or anything. So in this rock over here, I'm actually gonna have it, sorry, keep track of my game. And to do that, basically, he's just going to be watching the scores. So there's only going to be two con conditions. So when the score, now my score is blue, equals 10. When score blue equals 10, do game win. Actually, you know what? I'll change it to 5 so that... Uh, this doesn't take forever. <laughs> now it's going to simultaneously look for the condition when the green score oops, is 5. That means my opponent is going to end, so I'm going to lose essentially. Um, sorry, equals. I don't know if you even need that equal sign in. Tell you what, let's just take it out and see if that works. Um, it'll just be less work. So again, maybe I'll just... make a few more apples. They seem to roll around a lot. Um, I can smooth this terrain out too, because you can see it's kind of got a few little walls. Um, it's not a big deal. I'm just gonna play it and see how it, how it works out. Okay, great. Um, yeah, and that's basically it. Um, the other Kodu wasn't giving me much of a run for my money, so, um, and part of it is because how this close by command works, so I'm just going to take it out and see if he, he moves a little more fluid towards the apples and try and get him to win one, see if it works so it's not too easy. So let's give it a shot here. Yeah, that definitely helped him out. And one more and he wins. Okay, yeah. And that's the first tutorial. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. And that's all there is to it. So have fun uh, playing around and doing your thing on Kodu.